Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, I was analyzing new PCs on online with um, different websites like Amazon. Uh, I looked at what Best Buy had. I look at different online stores and in-store also. And my conclusion here in the video is mostly about that, is if you are going to buy a new PC today, be extremely careful what you choose because your PC might not be lasting very long if you aren't going to use it for something else than Windows, if you're not careful. Uh, what I notice is that there's a lot of Windows 10 PCs being sold. There's a lot of Windows 11 PCs being sold, but also there's a lot of PCs that still have or, or, or still miss the minimum requirements for Windows 11 that are being sold. And that is where you got to be careful. Um, you know, if you buy a Windows 10 PC because that's what you prefer, it's fine. You don't have to buy it with Windows 11 now. But you have to think future. And thinking future means you have to buy it with the minimum requirement for when you get there, you'll be able to continue using your PC and move on. So be very careful. There's so many PCs that are not minimum requirements. It's pretty uh, amazing. I think one of the things to, to make sure is either ask to make sure that it is compatible with Windows 11 or look at Windows 11 ready stickers that could be on the PC itself. Of course, what I notice mostly is that the PCs that aren't compatible are the cheapest one. So if you're on the market for a PC that is low priced, uh, choose wisely. There are lower priced PCs that do have the minimum requirement. It's just that you got to choose because they're far and few apart. So you just need to make sure you choose the correct one. Uh, remember that the minimum requirements is uh, Intel 8 generation and up, and that's very important. That's the minimum requirement that's missing probably on pretty much all of the ones that I see that could be um, you know, sold. Um, TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot is not a problem because pretty much everything sold today, even on the cheapest end, all have it uh, uh, for the most part. I've seen a few that might not have TPM, but for the most part, most of them have it. Be careful and, um, you know, try not to go too cheap because you might get bitten with a PC that's not compatible. And, you know, if you pay a cheap price for a PC that in 2022 that is going to just end in 2025, what you're actually doing now is you're actually wasting money, even if it's a low price. You better pay a little more. And at least after 2025, that PC still continues to work with Windows 11 or Windows 12, maybe. So just be careful in what you buy online. It's extremely important. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.